Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today for all the first year rights, I will solve the problem that how to start coding. Since a lot of days, my team has been regularly reaching me with this query and regularly we have been replying on various platforms but all of them felt that such video is needed because a lot of students are regularly asking this, they are in a confusion that how to start coding when they are in first year, all the first year students are asking this a lot. But let me tell you, this video is going to be immensely useful for all the people who are aspiring for coding. I'll tell you why. The reason is, some people can do a few steps very swiftly and that would help them out in the journey. So you can watch till the end. Also, we take up your queries very, very seriously. So go ahead in the comment section and tell me your queries as well. Fine. So I'll dive in deep and I'll step by step break down this very, very important question or this very, very important problem that first year rights face. So I'll solve this problem once and for all step wise what you can do, jot down these steps, make a plan straight away, start doing the action that is necessary. Fine. So the step one is learn C. Usually people tell you pick any language. No, not any language. Start with C. This is the mother of all languages. Tumhari journey shuru yahan se hogi. Theek hai? So don't go here and there. Don't think a lot of things. Simple C se shuru karo. Basic hai. Fine. Go ahead. Learn C. Because here you learn syntax. Here you learn how actually the basics of language, any computer language work. Fine. Jab aapka hath C pe bait jayega, to uske hath kisi pe bhi bait jayega, baut easily seek loge, koi bhi language. Fine. So this is first and the foremost thing you have to do. Once you're done with this, go ahead, pick any language of choice now. Now, once you're done with C, once you've made some programs, once you've written hello world for the first time in C, once you've made some basic pro prime number, factorial, such programs, then pick a language that is of your choice. And usme bhi choice koi bahut zada available nahi hai. Out of only three language you have to make a choice, which is C++, Java or Python. Out of these three, make a particular choice if you're somebody who's in third year and still watching this video for you or somebody who's in second year for you. For the second year rights, still the choice is available, you can. But for the third year rights, simple, seedhiya jawab hai, Python, if you're not interested in AIML, if you've not, not done it before, Python mein ghusna bhi nahi, choose one out of them, as simple as that. For all those who don't want to go into AIML or for all those who don't want to pursue the lines related to Python, C++, Java, okay? For those who are targeting college placements very swiftly, C++, Java. First year rights, choice hai tumhare paas. Jo achhe lage, utha lo. Fine? But my personal suggestion to all those who are practicing in Python, let me tell you, things are very bright for you in AI and ML, but abhi sunne mein interesting lag raha hai. First year rights, honestly, Job purpose se, let me tell you one thing. Software developer ke vacancies ya placements opportunities zada aayegi college mein. Thik hai? In college, there would be very less chances that some random company comes and asks for an AI engineer. For AI engineer, Python developer, data science, junior data scientist or say for MLE, which is ML engineer, such vacancies are usually off campus, fine. So you won't usually get them in the college itself. However, it is great to have ML AI skills because they are the future. And if you're having them right now, somebody would be interested to recruit you even in the developer roles, fine? Now, if you're in first year, you can go to any of these languages. I'll break it down in the upcoming videos. I'll even make the choices clear for you that what you should choose. So stay tuned for that. But right now, pick one out of them. Learn syntax, learn basics, find how the flow structure of it works and then try and implement the functions in it. That is of most importance or the paramount importance, fine. Learn file handling, learn other things as well, but implementing functions, implementing things that are related to object oriented programming, I am writing here, which is OOP, fine. So while having a basic hang of the concepts of object oriented programming, you pick any one languages out of them and any one language can work for you, fine. So for those who are in third year, C++, Java should be the 
preference and if you're somebody who can understand java well java if you're somebody who's absolutely not practiced or a beginner c++ fine we'll go further start solving easy coding problems please do not dive into hard problems immediately solution dekhna hi padega theek hai shuru mein solution dekh ke hi hota hai so watch the solutions initially of various problems fine watch the solutions read the solutions that are available online do not straight away think ke pehle din se logic banana aa jayega nahi hoga guys reality hai nahi hoga guys okay so you have to watch once or twice you have to watch videos once or twice fine you have to watch solutions you have to read solutions which are available on plethora of sites fine so be careful with that start with easy coding problems that will boost your confidence and it will let your mind adapt to the problem solving to the coding how coding works how you can solve mathematical problems or any kind of problem that is posed to you using coding fine and this will also create a good grip of yours on various type of loops structures that are being used in the language that you picked fine once it is done then you go ahead and start learning the dsa once you're comfortable with the basic coding problems you have a good grip on any language start learning the basic concepts of dsa what are the basic concepts of dsa start from arrays fine and then after arrays i should rather pick any other color which is more visible let me check is it visible stacks yes i feel this is more visible so array stacks then queues linked list fine right? linked lists then trees graphs and along with this for algorithm searching sorting alongside this a bit of dp but not immediately this should be your last thing to do before that cover the basics and while covering the basics while you are trying and reading these basics try and implement their basic operations for example how the insertion in array works how the deletion in array works once you start reading things once you start learning coding you will realize what insertion and deletion is basically array mein koi cheez kaise store karoge kaise delete karoge ye basic operations once you know how to implement these basic operations a lot of things would be super easy for you a lot of things fine believe me kai baar kya hota hai people ignore these basic operations and later on struggle with coding why they do not know how to use these basic operations and inhi basic operations se aage problem solve honi you don't know how to implement them how will you play with them how will you tweak them according to your need fine so that is important once it is done move ahead practice the dsa based coding problems for this i have specifically made one list that is top 150 not out questions fine this list is available for free on prepinsta.com you just search top 150 not out prepinsta you will find those 150 problems but do not start them without preparing the basics of dsa for example they are topic wise divided so what you can do is you go ahead study the array fully once you've done then go and solve the problems of array and that too initially i would suggest to just solve easy and medium problems medium bhi bahut badi baat hai easy pe hi raho theek hai initially then in the second iteration we'll solve fine so once you're thorough with the basic operation on data structures elevate your level start practicing the dsa based coding problems this will give you full exposure to the coding you will be very very comfortable you will understand how to handle things in coding how to handle variables functions everything you will know how to play with methods fine so that is one very good thing after learning dsa after having a good grip on any language once you start problem solving thoda shuru mein boring hoga don't worry sabko halka sa to dikkat hoti hai but uske baad you will start enjoying it fine so for first say 25 30 problems you will struggle for first 5 6 7 8 or maybe 10 11 problems you will have to see solutions you will have to see video solutions you will have to see the documentation solutions for example on lead code say example there are some uh, solutions that are written you will have to see them you will not immediately get the logic once you've solved such questions once you've seen such 10 11 questions then your brain will start functioning or the way people say 
in today's era your brain will start braining fine so that is one very good thing and logic hamesha aise hi banana aata hai theek hai we'll have a separate discussion on it and i'll make sure that i guide you on that as well fine now once you've done this practice revise and find a new problem daily fine so in this case this is one of the last leaps by this time when you reach this step you would have reached your third year and if you're following that plan you'll comfortably crack any good company and if you're very solid at it if you're very good in coding you might crack some big companies like man companies fine but you need some other skills as well i have discussed that in the video which guides you that how you can reach the mang fine that is a separate story alongside this you need to prepare a few things more but for now if you're practicing daily you're practicing good enough you are giving it proper time you'll understand the coding secondly while studying dsa while doing coding problems you'll encounter challenges you'll face a few things where you failed make short crisp notes for yourself and in these short crisp notes what do you need to make in these short crisp notes two things one basic concepts of dsa fine and this should be very very lucid very very short crisp easy to understand jo bhasha tumhe samajh mein aaye usme likho simple fine once you've done this alongside this you have to note down the challenges or failures while coding fine whatever you felt note them down make a single notebook take a thick register and fill it out fine do this exercise once it is ready with you believe me you will be way ahead from your competitors way ahead isse better kuch nahi ho sakta believe me once you've done this you know how i can proceed further you know what exactly i need to study you know that this much i'll study and i'll be better than others in coding fine also alongside this by the time you reach here you would have done those 150 problems say twice or thrice maybe fine that 150 not out list after that <coughs> what you need to do is find a new problem on lead code you will have new problems so find a new problem on daily basis this is very essential because this will give your brain a basic boost how to implement those patterns that you learnt in those 150 questions also it will break your monotony fine bore nahi hoge ki yaar wahi 150 kare ja raha wo boreiyat nahi hogi fine so for that you should find a daily new problem and then you solve it as simple as that fine if you're doing this this is a full proof plan this is the best possible plan to learn coding and be super good at it fine so you can be one of the best coders if you follow this plan now if you have anything any doubt that you have go ahead tell me in the comments because top 3 comments get free access to the prep insta prime subscription they stand a chance to win that free subscription also follow us on these social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update so that's all from my side keep doing good without any expectation good will come back to you spread this knowledge as far as you can